Tavon Austin became a college football sensation after an amazing senior season where he had almost 3,000 all-purpose yards and a highlight reel of Tavon went viral on YouTube. Then he had an amazing combine performance and went eighth overall in the NFL draft. But after that, Tavon Austin has seemingly disappeared and never matched the same success he had in college. What happened to Tavon Austin? On March 15, 1990, Tavon Austin was born in Baltimore, Maryland. Tavon went to Dunbar High School where he played basketball, football, and ran track. He played running back for Dunbar and won three consecutive state titles as a senior. He rushed for 2,660 yards and 34 touchdowns and was a punt return specialist. He won Maryland Offensive Player of the Year two times, made first team All-State, set the state record for touchdowns, rushing yards, and total offensive yards. Obviously, a player like Tavon would attract lots of attention from college recruiters, getting offers from Maryland, Michigan, North Carolina, and Penn State, but eventually choosing to commit to West Virginia. Tavon's freshman year, he didn't get very much playing time like many college freshmen in the NCAA. He totaled 198 total yards and two touchdowns. He was also a return specialist and had a kick return touchdown for West Virginia. Tavon Austin's sophomore year was when West Virginia fans would be introduced to Tavon and how good he was. With almost 1,000 total yards and nine touchdowns, the future was bright for Tavon. And most could see him becoming the next college football star, and they were right. Tavon's junior year was when he would start putting up crazy numbers that would get him national attention. With 1,368 total yards, nine touchdowns, two kick return touchdowns, and 1,000 kick return yards, Tavon would earn All-American honors as a junior. And what set him apart was his versatility. Tavon could return kicks, play running back, and play receiver. And in Tavon's very anticipated senior season, he would become a national icon of college football. Tavon's senior year, he would have 1,932 total yards with 15 touchdowns, two return touchdowns, and 978 return yards. So if you combine all of those yards and touchdowns, in 2012, Tavon Austin had 2,910 yards and 17 touchdowns. Absolute video game numbers. And along with that, in the spring of 2013, before the NFL draft, a highlight reel of Tavon Austin would go viral on YouTube, reaching over 20 million views. In the NFL Combine, Tavon would run a 4-3-4 40-yard dash and have a 32-inch vertical. This, combined with Tavon's insane college numbers, made him a top prospect in the NFL draft. And his versatility also helped. If you draft Tavon Austin, you get a kick returner, punt returner, running back, and wide receiver. So any team that needed to get better at any skill position really could use him. Tavon would be selected 8th overall by the St. Louis Rams, and he would sign a 4-year, $12.7 million deal. So it is pretty obvious that the Rams intended on having Tavon be the next great NFL player. Tavon's rookie year would be considered a disappointment to most as he didn't get over 600 yards from scrimmage and only had five touchdowns, but that didn't mean he didn't show potential. In week 10 against the Colts, Tavon had 138 yards and two touchdowns, so Tavon had shown that he still had the it factor from his college days. The question was, could he recapture that same lightning in a bottle he once had? Well, it didn't happen in year two. Tavon only had 466 yards and two touchdowns in 15 games. But he did make the Pro Bowl as a return specialist, as once again there was still hope and a roster spot for Tavon Austin. In year three, Tavon would break out. 907 total yards and nine touchdowns and a kick return touchdown for the third year in a row. Tavon had finally showed that he had what it took to be a consistently productive player in the NFL. If he kept on this track, he would be having a 1,000-yard seasons and making Pro Bowls with the Rams and one day hoisting the Lombardi Trophy. Sadly, all those things would never happen. In 2016, Tavon would have over 600 yards and four touchdowns, a noticeable drop-off in production, and his role shifting from a promising young stud to a veteran role player, and things would only get worse from there. In Tavon's fifth year, he would have just 317 yards and just one touchdown the whole year, and was removed from special teams due to him fumbling the ball a lot. So in the span of three years, Tavon went from Pro Bowl return man and promising young star to losing his spot as a returner and never topping 700 total yards. Tavon would then be traded to the Cowboys where he would continue to get worse by having 195 yards and two touchdowns in seven games. In 2019, Tavon would re-sign with the Cowboys and have a bit of a, you know, better season with 224 yards 
and two touchdowns. In 2020, Tavon would sign to play with the 49ers, but then was released and picked up by the Packers where he would barely play at all. And in 2021, Tavon would have somewhat of a resurgence in Jacksonville where he had over 200 yards and a touchdown. And a clip of him and Naheem Hines went viral um, when Naheem was excited to see him warming up for the Jaguars. This football season, Tavon started on the Buffalo Bills practice squad but was recently cut. Tavon Austin will be labeled a bust by a lot of people and analysts, but I don't think his career should be considered a disappointment. He set loads of records at the high school and college level and became a national icon and had an NFL career that lasted almost a decade. Is that the career you expect from an eighth overall pick? No, but it's still a successful career and one that influenced the game of football more than most players could ever. Got a very turned from the five. He's got a thing from Duke and a time to the 